Hi guys, so today we will write a PHP script to find roots of a quadratic equation. Our output screen would be looking like this. When we enter input as 2, 4 and 2, we will get the root as minus 1. Like this, we will be checking for, uh, let us say, uh, d less than 0. So roots were a, com a combination of real and complex number. And then for d is greater than 0, we would be getting uh, 2 real values so let us write the program now so first of all we will have a new text file we will save this as uh, let us say roots of quad dot php let us save it first so i have to give the extension as dot php so roots of quadratic equation so let us only say quad and dot php and save as type all files so that it would save the extension as .php okay now we have to save this now we will write the script php script now first of all we have to get the inputs from the html and then we will go to the php and we will use the form method post so let us write it down html head and center text so that everything would be aligned in the center so h1 and h1 close let us copy paste this and we'll write the thing inside afterwards so let us copy paste so over here again and again now uh, we will write php script to find roots of a quadratic equation over here so let us write it down so php script to find roots of a quadratic equation so let us make it capital so quadratic and equation over here and uh, let us say in h1 only pritam by pritam kadam code journal so we have to enter the quadratic equation show the quadratic equation as ax square plus bx plus c so let us write it down ax square plus bx plus c which will be on the web page shown to the user so before this let me write uh, by Pritam Kadam's code journal so let us write it down so and earlier uh, you were seeing that uh, this line was moving so we used mark you over here let us write it down so let me make it capital so mark you double e and then we have to close this so that only this line would be moving so let me close the mark you now after this uh, quadratic equation is shown and then we have to like give the user instruction that enter the coefficients and uh, let us say h2 over here so that it would look smaller than the other stuff so we have to close the head and then we will start the body we will make a form uh, with method post and then we will write the php script so we have closed the head now let us say body bg color as yellow so that the background color would be yellow and uh, you can choose any color you like so let me just write yellow because we have already used a lot of colors in the previous videos and then form method post and then we have to give the user instruction as enter a enter b and enter c and then we will use the input type as number and we will give this variable name as pritam1 so that we can take the value of this variable into an another variable that is $a inside the php script so let us write this down so enter a and input type as number only and then we will name this as pritam1 you can set any variable name you like and let us use br tag so that uh, this after this line the next instruction would be printed on the new line and let us copy paste this part for b and c so let us update this as b and this as c and we will name the variables as pritam2 and pritam3 so that we would get the values in the php script so i have to make a submit button so that in the php i will write if is set post of submit means if the submit was clicked then only proceed to the php so submit and then name as submit only and then we will give the value as find roots uh, find roots would be printed on the uh, submit button on the screen so find roots we will close this now we have to close the form and we will start the php script 
so form close and then we have to start the php as less than question mark php and then first of all i will check if the submit button was clicked so if is set and dollar underscore post and submit then only we have to proceed ahead so i will give the name as submit only because for submit button we gave the name as submit now we have to close this and this okay now we have started the if now i will like declare three variables is dollar a dollar b and dollar c and get the values of pritham 1 in dollar a pritham 2 in dollar b and pritham 3 in dollar c so let us get the values from the variable so let me just copy paste this part now i have to give the name of the variable inside the parameters no so pritham 1 now i'll copy paste this part and just write pritham 2 for dollar b and pritham 3 for dollar c so let us change this and this too and then i have to like get the value of the discriminant so let us write dollar discriminant we will use this a lot of time so let me just make it as dollar d which will be equal to b square minus 4ac so let us write it down so b square and uh, minus 4ac so 4 star a star c and now semicolon and then i have to check the conditions that, that if d was greater than 0 then we have to get the formula and uh, print the root 1 and root 2 and if d was equal to 0 then i have to just print one root and then for d less than 0 i have to print a root which will be having a real and a complex number so let us write this down first so dollar x1 would be equal to minus b plus square root of the discriminant upon 2a so let me just write it down so 2 star a so now for x2 that is second root uh, i'll be just having this as minus b minus square root of discriminant and then this whole thing upon 2a so let us copy paste this whole thing and we will just write dollar x1 as dollar x2 so let me just copy paste this now paste and then this would be dollar x2 and this would be dollar b minus square root of discriminant and this whole thing upon 2a so we will use echo and in echo we have to like print roots are uh, root 1 and dollar x1 so that the value of variable x1 would be printed and uh, then root 2 uh, and dollar x2 so that the value of the variable x2 would be printed and then let us write slash n so that uh, after this there would be whatever it is to be printed it will be printed on the new line so root 2 dollar x2 and then slash n for the new line and then double quotes complete semicolon now we have to write the else if part of if the discriminant was equal to 0 then there will be only one root that would be equals to minus b upon 2a because discriminant's value would be 0 and we won't like write uh, square root of 0 over here so else if dollar d was equal to 0 then we have to like write dollar x equals to minus b upon 2a so let us copy paste from here and in place of dollar x1 we will write dollar x and we will remove this whole thing because this is zero as discriminant is zero already so let us proceed ahead and then after this we will write echo and root uh, is equal to dollar x and then slash n i forgot the minus sign over here that is minus b plus minus square root of determinant and uh, this whole thing upon 2a so let us print this root equals to dollar x over here so that uh, i am using echo and then we will use slash n for the new line so semicolon now if it it was not greater than zero it was not equal to zero then it should be less than zero and if it is like that uh, then the roots would be combination of real and imaginary part so i will declare a variable as dollar real and then another variable as dollar imaginary and then we will copy paste from above that is real would be minus b upon 2a and imaginary would be a square root of minus percent d that is square root of minus determinant 
so let us go ahead so i will directly write real and imaginary over here so let us copy paste from here so let us remove one extra bracket after person d and we are good to go so i will write roots are and root one would be equal to dollar real plus dollar imaginary and root two would be equal to re dollar real minus dollar imaginary and then uh, i will write slash n so let us go ahead so root one equals to dollar real that is the value of the variable plus dollar imaginary the va value of the variable imaginary and root two would be equal to real minus imaginary so let us copy paste this from this and then we will like update that plus as minus so let us change this and then slash n and then double quotes complete and then semicolon so now we have to close the php script we will also close the body so i think we have already closed this part okay so we will close the php now then we have to close the body and we will close the html also okay so i have already started the vamp server so let us proceed as php is a server side scripting language so you have to start the server compulsorily so let us go ahead to the vamp server home page that is localhost and then i have saved this in the php programs folder so let us write that in the url so let us write it down so here it is php programs now my program was roots of core dot php now let us check this error so in place of semicolon i wrote colon so let us update that thing so it should be over here okay so after this root 1 and root 2 i wrote it as colon in place of semicolon so here is the output of the php script that we wrote now let us check by entering the values so let us go for d equals to 0 so now we have to resolve these errors so identified unidentified symbol so maybe i wrote directly a in place of dollar a and uh, for c also and another variables also so let us check it out so over here we took the values and while calculating the value of the discriminant we used a and c now what we have to do is we will check for more okay for over here I wrote dollar d equals to zero which was assigning the zero value to the variable but we have to compare the value so i have used double equals to so let me move this else a little earlier so that it would align with if statement now everything looks resolved i have updated the variables also so let us run this so let us first of all go for d's value as equal to 0 so 2 4 and 2 and root is minus 1 so let us enter another values so 100 and then 1 and 24 d less than 0 so here were the root 1 and root 2 combination of real and imaginary let us enter for d greater than 0 so over here i got the root 1 and root 2 as minus 0 0.02 and minus 99.97 and we use the mark if so that the Pritham Kadam's code journal would be moving across the web page and we got the values in the variable Pritham 1, Pritham 2 and Pritham 3 and uh, we just took that values from the variable into PHP script uh, in dollar a dollar b and dollar c and um, did some actions and compare the value of discriminant with zero and then we wrote the roots so you can take a screenshot now now you are able to see the whole program at once so we wrote the 
form and head above and this was the php thank you guys for watching the video do like share and subscribe also comment down below if you are having any queries or you want me any question to make video on so see you all in the next video